Before we get into it, the latest version is Ministry Maps Editor 0.1.8. Changes include being able to scroll the window vertically. Also in the edit room, now there is a new custom box numbering option. When this is selected, you have the ability to change the text that is displayed on the box. If you uncheck it, it will automatically reassign the boxes back to the original numbering. This video will show you how to use the Ministry Maps Editor, a Windows program designed to work along with the Ministry Maps mobile app. If you haven't already, I recommend watching the Ministry Maps video to get an idea of how the app works. So to download the editor, simply scroll down to the editor section of the website www.ministrymaps.co.nz. There you will find a link to download the installer. Once it's finished downloading, you can open up the zip folder, take out the installer file, and double click it. You might notice Windows comes up with a warning about an unrecognized app. This is because the installation file hasn't been signed with a security certificate. This is because it's a freeware program and the security certificate costs over $300 per year. To get around it, simply click on more info and then run anyway. Then follow the prompts to install the program. You'll notice from our last video we had five demo maps. We're going to use Ministry Maps Editor to further customize the functionality of the mobile app Ministry Maps. The first step is to select a zip folder with your maps in it. After showing a warning, you choose your maps folder. If you click on the preview tab, you'll be able to see that it's loaded in the five different files under the section maps. If we go to the arrange tab, we can see here their sections and our maps. They all have the assigned section of maps. We're going to change this to town. You'll notice it's changed all of them to town, but we have some country maps, so we're going to add another section, call it country. To change it, all we have to do is hold, click and drag to country, and you'll notice it's moved to the bottom now with the country section. We'll do this for the second one. Now they're out of alignment, so all we have to do is click on this move bar and drag it down. Also, if you need to, you can right-click a map to delete it. Next, if we go to the edit screen, we can cycle through our maps, or use the arrows. At the top is the display name. This is what's going to show up in Ministry Maps. So we can change this to Town 1. In the middle is the Map Preview screen. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom up, and then click and drag. Down here is the search keywords box, which is what the search bar in Ministry Maps will use to find your maps, although the keywords won't be visible. We might add the name of the street. To the right is the ability to add do not calls. You can use the tab key to move to the next box. You can add as many do not calls as you like. Notice at the very top there's a feature to import and export do not calls. The format is a CSV file, which can easily be obtained from a Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets program. We notice the format is the file name of the map, the street, the number, and the date. This is a quick way to import a whole lot of Do Not Calls, or export them as a backup. Now if we go to the preview tab, we'll see that we have the two sections, town and country. We're ready to save it. What this editor program does, is save all our customizations into a .mmaps file. You'll notice there are three export options. First, whether or not to allow do not calls to be visible on the app. If this is turned off, there will be no do not call icon and the users will not be able to find it. The next option is whether a custom pin is mandatory for users to set once they download your maps. If this is on, they will not be able to turn off the pin the last option lets you password protect your maps, so users will not be able to download it unless they enter the password. When you're ready, click save. And note, this file has to be the same name as your zip folder. This file basically holds all the customization info, so you need to upload both of these two files to the internet. 
and then get the URL of the .emaps file, and this is the one that should be typed in to Ministry Maps. Go to ministrymaps.co.nz and click on Upload. This is a free file hosting website. After registering with an email and password, click Login. Now you can set a path to your files. After you click Add, you won't be able to change this path, so make sure you're entering the right information. Once you've done that, you can choose your zip folder to upload. This can take a while depending on the size of it. You can also add your .mmaps file if you've used the Ministry Maps editor. Now both of your files are on the internet and you'll see the URL that has been generated. If you're using a .mmaps file, this is the URL that you should put into Ministry Maps. This is an easy service to host your files. You can delete them and re-upload another one if you want to update your files. You can make any adjustments like adding new do not calls or keywords, adding a new map zip folder, and when you're ready just save a new file and replace the old one on the internet. And then in the Ministry Maps app, it will automatically check for map updates. And that's the workflow to using the Ministry Maps editor. Feel free to get in touch if you have any questions, or check out the website www.ministrymaps.co.nz.